Now, let's cut across uh, to our guest uh, joining us uh, for more on this to discuss the impact of social media use on mental health of children and teenagers. We are joined by Dr. Harish Shetty. He's a psychiatrist joining us from the Indian city of Mumbai. Thanks very much, sir, for speaking to us. Thank you. Sir, sir uh, let's uh, begin by talking about this report by U.S. Surgeon General. He is saying that social media has both positive and negative uh, impact on children and adolescents. I want to understand from you, in your experience, when you uh, see patients in that age group of uh, who are children and adolescents, uh, what have you seen in dealings with uh, those patients? You know, how is social media impacting their mental health? I work with schools every week. Well, there's a direct impact. One is, if they're on social media for a long time, they experience loneliness, Loneliness can lead to depression directly. And the numbers are very big. Second is, when they're addicted to social media, they would behave in the same manner as people who consume alcohol behave with their relatives. Uh, when an alcoholic's wife or a, or a parent stops him from drinking, he gets violent. So we see a lot of young boys and girls getting violent against their parents. And that is also a direct effect of social media. Third are indirect effects. When children are on the media for more than three to four hours, the parents get very irritated. They, they shout at them, they scream at them, they experience, children experience scholastic failures, loss of grades. They are reprimanded by teachers in the class. They're reprimanded by close, close relatives who feel insulted when these kids don't speak to them when they visit their homes. So the indirect effects also add to the direct effects and, and there's a lot of anxiety, depression. Fourth, when there's a sleep deprivation. In fact, sleep deprivation is worse than insomnia. That causes a disturbance in the mind-body orchestra. It disturbs all the organs. We see young children having diabetes. We see young children having issues in their stomach and intestine. We see young children having issues on their skin. So there's a lot of psychosomatic reactions and consequent physical as well as psychiatric illnesses. At the same time, these kids also experience low self-esteem body image issues and get addicted to porn and other websites. Many of them get abused by adults because they get carried away by Instagram posts as well as other social media posts. The next most important thing is those who experience depression because of difficult families, difficult studies or difficult schools, they gravitate towards the, the social media and their mental health problems become compounded. I strongly believe that what is happening in the United States of America is also happening in India to a very great extent. And I feel that, that social media should, uh, the, the social media companies yes. should also exhibit some amount of restraint and come up with policies that will not hurt children. Lastly, also important to understand that adults are addicted to social media and they also are role models and children imitate them, they model around them, they inculcate the same habits and 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 so secondary in, in impact of the social media is when they see their own adult close adults their parents and the significant others being on media school teachers open their phones while teaching college professors open their phones while teaching and a lot of work is done on the phone and the laptop so what is important is direct learning textbook learning and other methods should also be be, be used now I, I hear the, 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 the Surgeon General saying that you need to have in-house meeting without phones. Yes. I think phones are very addictive. They are seductive. Conversations are not so easy and, and they are not so attractive. So we are, yes. we are actually actually competing with a jingle on the TV, a seductive media which, which innovates every second. Yes. So I think uh, no phone days, no social media days are important. We experimented with this years ago while we practice no TV days. And yes. most of the intervention should be led by students and not by adults. When students innovate and lead these interventions, right. they'll be very impactful, they'll be very useful. It cannot be a top-down approach from adults to children. It has to be a bottom-up approach, which is very important, where children innovate, create uh, 
a million interventions to help yes. other children and that should be the goal of the entire world all right bottom up approach you are talking about uh, you made a lot of points dr shetty let's see how much we can touch upon in the limited time that we have but uh, you know you talked about the direct impacts of children getting violent the indirect impacts of uh, uh, you know parents and teachers scolding them for spending excessive time on social media what do you think is a solution the way out of this because you know if the parents restrict children from using social media they uh, depict this abnormal behavior so how do you counsel these uh, parents and children to limit the time on social media yes well in india parenting should have few rules and many guidelines and that should start very early in life i tell my parents don't gift a phone give a phone i tell my parents the phone is not your family member while having meals i tell the parents children cannot be inside the rooms while having a meal in front of the tv or the phone they need to be with with everybody around which is very important when children say that is my space it's not your space don't encroach it on or don't encroach it i tell them that the the flat agreement shows that the name is parent so firm parenting very early uh, uh, in life is extremely important for for uh, for better habits to develop all the same uh, when a close when a, when when you have a party at home children take advantage they please give me the phone and 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 parents believe that the phone is a peacemaker it keeps the child quiet not at all the children can throw a tantrum if the child throws a tantrum for a phone or for a game or for or for some some intervention or some some uh, so need to see uh, to watch the media let them have the tantrum don't don't interrupt the tantrum exhaust them so they are negatively reinforced that this behavior will not get them but these things have to start very early my son when he was uh, very addicted on on social media his girlfriend could influence him much more than the parents so parenting is not about father and mother it's about the joint family which means uncles aunties relatives neighbors etc can also play a very positive influence yes. on children when uh, which uh, with respect to restricting their the time in social media i don't think this 3 hours and 2 hours will work because 2 hours will stretch to 4 hours sometimes yes. we need to start with abstinence and slowly increase the time sometimes we have to we have, we have to strike deals with the kids in fact in my clinic i have got 15 16 phones which the kids come and hand over to me at around the time of exams because my rapport with them is very good which means with some kids what i do is uh, you can play for uh, three alternate days three hours and then stop for a for, for other alternate days let's strike a deal let's sit down and see if you can restrict the time for two hours in 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 alternate days or you can stop it on a sunday or a thursday so different kids need different intervention different horses for different courses different courses for different horses everybody is not the same but those who are addicted they might have to be hospitalized separated from the gadget still the withdrawal symptoms are taken care of till the brain comes back to normal where they can be counseled and actually where they can be properly treated yes uh, uh two questions let me try and combine them uh, uh dr shetty uh, you know you talked about how parents uh, and teachers using the phones in front of children influence them you know there is a school of thought which says uh, uh, constantly remind the adults put your phone down you know do you think that helps uh in children also replicating that uh, uh, aspect and also i want to know i mean if people are people want a way out of this if they are addicted they know that they are addicted but they can't escape this what sort of remedies do they have well if they are addicted what is important is let them give them let us give them alternate forms of addiction which are very healthy in fact i see a lot of kids who come back and say i used to play tennis when i was small i used to play carrom when i was small i used to play badminton soccer when I, all this has stopped reintroducing those habits little by little can really help them come back uh, to their old self at the same time if the addiction is severe medications counseling and 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 hospitalizing them in a rehab center is very important third about parents parents can discipline themselves but the point is a lot of parents are also addicted to the phones and that is a big problem so we understand that unless adults take the responsibility of helping themselves use the phones and and the social media pl- platforms as little as as possible that would be a great advantage also i recommend that we have a bedroom for all the phones which means 
that even if the parents don't sleep together, let the, all the phones remain in the same drawer at night till, till morning. While getting up, don't pick up the phone, pick up the toothbrush. Very, very important, small things. Uh, and, and also I tell parents that, that it is important to understand that they do not need to really answer all WhatsApp messages, uh, which, are, which are political, uh, shun them, and 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 use use all all the medias at a particular time in the day. Uh, if they if they actually close down their social media early, they will yes. be able to sleep well at night. So I talk to them about sleep deprivation, its impact on health, its impact on on on, on blood pressure, etc. Apart from that, mindfulness, family together doing yoga has helped many families get over their social media uh, attraction. I tell children, do not play with your fingers, play with your hands and legs. And when they enjoy playing with hands and legs and the dopamine brush enters the brain, they feel much better and they remain away from. But the point is, the social media companies are very innovative. If you have to beat it, you need a community to come together. In India, in Maharashtra, a small village in Maharashtra uh, yes. has come together and have and and have and have, and have, and have some 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 time period where they should keep or the entire village should keep the phone down. So it needs a movement. It's not yes. the job of a psychiatrist or a psychologist. It's it's the job of the entire village. It takes the whole village to raise a child. It takes the whole village to restrict media yes. and improve the health of children. All right, Dr. Harish Sethi, important points and suggestions there. Thanks very much for joining us on this rather important topic. Thank you.